Hi guys. I'm going to do another basic makeup look. As you can tell from my voice, I am a little sick, but I figured this would be kind of a nice thing to do just to distract me and make me feel like I am up for going to work. Um, let me just groom my eyebrows. That is normally the first step that I do uh, with any look. It's so funny. I have lost my eyebrow groomer and cannot find it anywhere. The only plus side to losing stuff is that you might find something else that you have been looking for. I'm a little bit in the shadow because of my mirror. Let me just move that over. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows with my foundation brush just to get started. And this I'm going to just apply with my hands. This is a really neat little highlight kit. It has so many different shades. I really like the purple. It's a cool tone. Candies is awesome if you want something really shimmery and fun without having to put a base on first. Go ahead and just put that all over the lid if you want to. I'm going to use the green on the bottom and as you can see there is a little bit of a it does show up. I, I was kind of afraid at first that these uh, light shades would not show up on my skin tone but they do and they just add a little bit of light. I'm going to put the blue a little bit in there. I mean look at that. That's gorgeous. And I always put them on with my finger. There's really no point in brushing these on. They're just a little bit too light to do that with. But as you can see that kind of gives me a nice shiny uplifting look and then I'm going to oh by the way I will have a video on my Aesthetica palette this is a kind of a shade and lift lightning palette it's got all these different colors and tones in it it's for uh, molding and shaping your face um, Patel Skater has kind of a similar uh, palette it's got a lot more shades in it though I kind of wish I got that one but this one got really good reviews so we'll see we can uh, I highly recommend at least checking out her video to uh, see what she's able to accomplish with that the whole sculpting look. She does do some of that. Um, I just use this to kind of bronze my face out and my neck. My neck tends to be very, very pale, so it just needs a little color. Not like a whole lot, so I wouldn't get too carried away with this kit. It is extremely tasteful. They did not put these really deep, dark colors in there, but just be be tasteful with it if you can um, don't do too much you know you don't want the snick the snooky look unless you love that I'm gonna take my love your selfie from Rue 21 I'm just gonna take the kind of a chocolatey tone and just brush that underneath like I said this is just a really nice kind of light lifted look kind of do this in the morning just to brighten my eyes up because my eyes tend to get really tired looking in the last thing that I want, let's go ahead and put the blue and a little bit of the black on the very top. The last thing that I want in the morning is to kind of have a tired look when I go into work. So this is my way to shade it out. And yes, the makeup will disappear eventually, so you can go ahead and deepen it in. I find that when I get in my car and I get in the wind elements, <clears throat> my makeup tends to just kind of melt off of my face. I don't know if any of you guys used to watch the Kathy Guys White comics. That was a big joke. It's where did the makeup go? Um, kind of seems to evaporate into the air. I'm going to go ahead and use my Scandalize pencil. I really like this pencil. It has a lot of depth. Um, it's very easy to put on. It's Rimmel. And it's just their basic purple tone. You don't even have to sharpen it that hard to, to get it to apply. Just going to go ahead and this one you don't need to blend. Just go ahead and just mark in those areas that you kind of want to have a little bit more definition. And you can even just blink a couple of times and put some on the corners. Just because it's very, very, considering it's very dark, it's also very shimmery. They have created a balance between dark and shimmer, which I think is kind of commendable. Because most of the time something that's dark just doesn't shimmer. It'll glow, but it doesn't shimmer the way that, like... A lot of other products can do. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder over. I'm not wearing foundation today because I did a mask yesterday. After you do a mask or any kind of treatment, it's good to just let your skin breathe for a little bit. So just stick to powders next couple of days if you can. 
Um, and I'm not going to use my Tarte Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and use, since we're kind of on the theme of Rue 21, this is their, I think they call it the VR Plump Lash. So that's pretty fun. I haven't actually used this yet, so I kind of need to get it involved. It's good to kind of swirl. Just pick the product up. A lot of people just kind of go like this. That doesn't do anything except drive the product in the bottle. So just go ahead and swirl around. Pick up as much as you want. And a good tip that I learned from Mac from just trying to see if my hair dye is leaking on my shirt. It is not. A good tip I've learned from Mac is just to take the part at the end and brush some of the product on like this. That way you have a definite deposit of product on and then this will just be the smoothing out of it. Just like that. You should be good to go on that. And I'm actually rather impressed with this stuff. It, it's it got a funny smell, but the way the brush is shaped, it actually gets to the last part of the lash, if you can see the shape of it. This part that's a little bit extended in the side, it seems to grab the outer edges, and that is really hard to do. I don't know of any other mascara that I have tried yet that does that, that I don't have to actually concertedly make an effort. Um, to do so. Let's put on our Nude Beach because summer's coming up. This is Too Faced. I like Too Faced. Some of their products are like the gold. It's a bit tacky to me. Uh, and it's also expansive. I feel like I'm paying for the packaging sometimes. However, this is a really nice nude. If you can see, it kind of just softens the face and you don't have to wear any liner with it. So, I mean, my review on Too Faced is always going to be good. And once again, just to promote this, I don't know where you can get Simply Sweet, but I really like this lip gloss. It is so soft and smooth. Uh, I don't know. It just adds a little sheen, and it doesn't take away from anything. It's not... I like the Sephora to compare briefly. The Sephora is pretty good, but it's not in a way because it's so sticky, so it kind of takes whatever you put on as a base and kind of wipes that off or pulls it with your finger. So this is just a nice overlay gloss, and I find it absorbs really nice too. And they also make this really nice blue tone. So once again, sweet, or simply sweet, just blueberry flavored lip gloss. And it's not like a blueberry that you're gonna taste throughout the entire morning. I mean, sometimes like, honestly in the morning, I don't barely wanna even eat, let alone taste something that's like, telling me what to taste. So uh, yeah, it's not my thing. So anyways, sorry my voice is all crackly and weird. I was trying to make it so that I would sound nice and smooth for my tutorial, but I am slowly but surely <clears throat> going back into laryngitis mode. So hopefully I won't be full on out. I'm actually just going through some jewelry. This is Blackheart. They have some really cool kind of rings. I like it. It has a little texture. I was actually going to see if I could find the other one. This is also Blackheart. Ooh, it's caught on everything. Kind of a nice gold tone ring. I wear this sometimes to, to work. It's easy to type with. I like real thick rings for the club, but I find when I get to work, I just can't wear them. And I have a ton of other stuff. I was getting a lot of compliments on Betsy Johnson. Um, Betsy Johnson's awesome. If you want kind of a, a punk look that's mixed with glam and all kinds of stuff, I wanted to show you one of her earrings. This is beautiful. It's got the skull and the crown. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that. It's I got my little peace signs on, but it's real blingy and it's really fun if you just want to kind of gussy up for a night out on the town. I think it's like $12 for her sets of earrings. It might get up to $34. This I bought just for like a special occasion. I haven't worn it yet because I don't own a lot of stuff that's pink, but if I ever had like a white dress, I could wear that. And I think that's all I have from her in this haul. Or actually in this cool little three zipper thing. I do have some other stuff around. I will try to gather up a few other products just to kind of review. Go through what I bought throughout the year. Because I bought a ton of like just stuff for face and hair. And I tried to experiment with a bunch of stuff. Just to find out what I really like. Because I do love drugstore stuff. But I believe that if you reach out. Like I said this was a real find. Not only did Rue have this cool pineapple shirt. This is actually something they're selling right now. They have a lot of other shirts that are really comfortable, really big, nice. You can throw them in the dryer. They can shrink up a little bit. It's not going to kill them. 
Um, this is just a really nice flowy top. It's got a lot of extra fabric and this is also one of their necklaces with the little feathers. So I'd recommend checking out Rue. Spencer's. How was this guy? Um, it came with a bunch of cuffs and feathers. Very kind of hippie looking jewelry. Very meta metal hippie. It's kind of cool. So they've got a lot of neat cool stuff. So just kind of check all that stuff out. You know, keep your mind open. Don't just stick with drugstore. Try to, you know, explore, find out new ways to apply things and take care of yourselves in the meantime. And like I said, this mascara was $3.99 versus $8.99 at a drugstore. So you can technically save money if you just go to the mall. Who knew, right? All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Uh, be nice to each other and ciao, ciao, meow, meow. All right, till next time. Bye. Woo! See my beautiful glamour lights. <laughs>